Welcome to the Daily Psalm series, day 8. Today we're going to do Psalm 8, of course. So, let's get into it. To the chief musician, on the instrument of Gath, a psalm of David. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants you have ordained strength, because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands, you have put all the things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. And that is Psalm 8 right there. And I think we can really take this psalm today to remind ourselves how great God really is. We are not the creators. God is the one who is the creator. He created us. It reminds me of what the Bible also talks about, the fact that we are the clay and God is the potter. And we cannot say to the potter how we should shape the clay because the potter is the one who decides how the clay is shaped. And so therefore, let's take time today to reflect on the greatness of God. Just look at nature, look at creation and thank God for that. I mean, even just the air that we get to breathe is not the air that we paid for. It's not the air that we created. It's the air that belongs to God. As the Bible says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So it's a great opportunity to also drop pride, drop complaining, drop disrespect and honor the Lord in this time and thank Him for everything that He has made and everything that He has given us. Yes, life on earth isn't the easiest. Sometimes we go through real difficult times. But the Bible also says that the same sufferings that you're going through are experienced by the brethren around the world. Your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ around the world are also going through sufferings. So be encouraged today to keep your head high. Thank God for what you do have. Give God the glory for everything you see around you that He has made. And God will deliver you out of darkness. He will deliver you out of the snare of the enemy. Because of course, yes, there is still a lot of evil and darkness in this world. But don't let that distract us from the goodness and greatness of who God is. And we don't worship God's creation. We worship God as He is the Creator. So let me say a prayer over you today before we end this video. Heavenly Father God, we come before you today and we thank you, Father, for creation. We thank you that we get to breathe this air. Thank you for the breath in our lungs. Thank you for the animals, the trees, the birds, the, the water, the grass, the beaches, and just also, Father God, for what we do have. Thank you for blessing us with another day. Thank you for blessing us with food to eat and for shelter and for a bed to sleep in. And for those who don't have all these luxuries, Lord, I just pray that you'd meet their needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And I thank you for this person watching this video today, Lord. I just pray a blessing over them today from you. Let your will be done in their life, Father God, on earth as it is in heaven. And thank you that we can be grateful. Thank you that we can repent and turn away from complaining. So help us to do that today, Father God. Help us to be more content with what we do have and to not complain with what we don't have. So thank you, Father God, for your goodness and your grace upon our lives. And we'll give you all the glory and the praise and the honor. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be tomorrow. We're going to read uh, Psalm 9 in tomorrow's video. So be sure to join for that. God bless and peace.